right, everyone. Thanks for joining us today for our Wake Up with Wasatch webinar. Today we have Rich McDonald, um, our clinical director at Wasatch Crest. He's going to be talking about equine therapy for addiction treatment and how we incorporate it into our programming. Um, if you have any questions, you can type it into the control panel and we'll make sure they get answered. And then there's also a handout attached to this webinar that you can download as a PDF and it overviews our program, but I'll let Rich take it away. Thanks for joining us this morning. Um, I'm excited to talk about equine therapy. It's one of the things um, we're really proud that we're able to uh, do here at Wasatch Crest. It gives us one more uh, uh, out of all the modalities that, that we use um, throughout somebody's stay at Wasatch uh, it gives us one more way to reach clients um, and really make their treatment experience and hopefully long-term outcomes uh, better. Um, so I thought I'd tell you about um, the partner we have that helps us with our with our equine therapy. They're actually located about 20 minutes from Wasatch Crest, um, and we went this route like we. Um, the property available here to have horses on site, but by the time you board them and and, and um, take care of them properly, it becomes kind of a daunting task unless that's your focus. But we found an incredible partner um, in in Salt Lake, which is uh, that has well, essentially the the entire practice is all and they they. We're really excited when we reached out to them uh, to work together. Uh, and how, how we work with them is our clinical team uh, goes with, with our clients to the program and is incorporated into the groups that we run. Right now, uh, in the summer, we generally go uh, once, once a month. In the winter, uh, we go uh, essentially every other week. Um, one of the reasons we were really equine therapy is is so many times um, reaching a client that's kind of shut and been um, focused on you know drugs and alcohol uh, it, it's it's been interesting to see that connection and that ability for and, and they actually have a few other animals uh, help clients <clears throat> help reflect the client on with them but I, I think that um, one of the the other thing equine therapy brings to addiction treatment is it allows clients to get outside of themselves. Um, it becomes, you know, towards the end prior to admission, most of our clients are really themselves, drug seeking, um, and the ability to kind of step self and uh, and I guess where you are. Uh, Essentially, you know, from the actions of, of animal or another human being is super important for addiction treatment and for the ability to positive mental health. So, uh, our sessions uh, with the equine therapy uh, they last about an hour and a half, um, and oftentimes it'll be started with a, a problem solving a skill down. And uh, depending on the size of the group, we'll we'll split into two, about eight, eight or nine clients in each in each group. Um, and we arrive. It's interesting. Uh, we get some resistance up front. Oh, I don't. Last week we had somebody that said they were allergic. Turns out they weren't allergic to horses. But um, I think overwhelming. They assume they're going to be. Um, I guess don't understand what therapy is really about. But when we get down uh, to, the, to the animals um, up and they're given a problem solving uh, task, usually they're handed a bridle or another piece of horse tack and asked to put it on the animal. Um, they're, not they're not necessarily assigned a specific animal. There's usually several horses walking around and there might be clients in each little group. That walks and finds the animal that comes to them, and it, it's it's interesting because as the clinical team has gone down um, over the past you know 12 months or or so, 
we kind of know the animals a little bit now, and it's been interesting to see which animals are, are uh, or which clients are attracted to which animals and vice versa, but they'll, they'll give them a problem solving skill. And um, it gives them the opportunity to really get, you know, in the moment, um, as well as uh, gives the clinical team the ability to make some observations about the animal. And generally that'll carry over into um, their life with your loved ones. Um, and the way the animal responds often tells us a lot about uh, where the client is at. Uh, and then we can process kind of the experience, you know, or respond. Um, and really what it comes down to oftentimes is, is it's a, um, uh, we had one experience that I'll tell you about here in just a minute, but it was one of the, one of the experiences the client had that really the kind of what their family had been telling them for, for a long time. Um, so spending time with the horses, taking care of the horses, brushing the horses. Um, the whole idea really is to get them back centered, taking care of something outside of themselves, get them present and get them engaged in the process. Um, and it's not something that, that at least most of our clients deal with on a basis, right? Um, the opportunity to take care of an animal, um, especially one that inside like like a horse or um, they have a couple donkeys and some smaller animals intimidated by the bigger horses those actually have been super helpful as well um, prior to equine therapy uh, we'll sit with clients and, and kind of go over the group expectations and group norms um, help them understand going to be like and I, I like this picture that's up there um, really there is no uh, structure necessarily when we arrive we know where we're going to end up but the clients are allowed to just wander as engaged as they want or uh, or not usually the animals find that they're a little more withdrawn um, and they'll pull them into the the experience um, but we let our um, there's no expectations. Um, we'd like them to participate and kind of push um, and be part of the group. And we do our best prior to also to, you know, if we've got uh, groups of two or three uh, clients, we'll match with uh, peers that will, um, you know, help them work as a team. Maybe draw out some of the more uh, clients that are a little more reserved, uh, which is super helpful. We let them know um, that, you know, the animals are safe. We, you know, all of the, the animals that we interact with, you know, are, are pretty, pretty, um, are, are pretty calm, mild. And it's, it's generally one of the things our clients are absolutely loving by the time they leave is their experience at the equine therapy. Um, so, I thought this would be a good story of the, the client. So we had a um, gentleman here in, in treatment and he was a father. He had a career, he's super busy. Uh, and it sounded like through some of the, the family sessions I worked with him on, uh, you know, he had a lot of people fighting for his time his wife and his children all said they wanted what they wanted from him was sobriety they wanted him to be present and to to spend quality time with them um, we got down to the the corral and as we walked in it was really interesting it's kind of the alpha um is what the uh, trainer calls the horse um and the rest of the animals kind of let him do whatever he wants and they they'll they'll slow but gentleman walks up to the horse and starts trying to put the bridle on and works the horse for a minute and what we started to notice is the other two people in his group in between the client and uh his peers Every time another animal would walk up, or every time he'd walk over to try and pet another animal, this horse followed right in between him and uh, whatever else was trying to get close. To. Uh, 
it was an important moment for the client because what we realized or and what he was able to gain and, and a lot of times we let them uh, not a lot of times we let them come with the insight and the perspective but essentially this horse anybody get close to him and fighting for his time always right? and the question we posed to the client was is that you know are there people is there people all of the time and it was a pretty profound moment um the client broke down and was uh really had to step back and take a look at, at his life and, and was prioritizing and um those relationships that have not been getting probably should versus the things that we're getting as attention that probably um should not there's moments like that um, where the clients gain the insight and bring it to us that that really transformational for a client. Something I, I, you know, years from now, if I ask the client, I guarantee that they will remember. Um, super uh, insightful and and moments just where um, somebody will be caring for the animal or uh, helping groom, and just the ability to take care of something else. Is profound. Opportunity to kind of process that, and then you know sometimes turn it back on them. How have you been caring for yourself? All these little moments that happen along the way can have a, a significant impact. Um, and I think to kind of wrap it up, the healing impact or benefits of working with the, with the animals is really that side of yourself, right? Um, it helps build empathy for others. It is opportunity for um, clients to be very present in the moment and get outside of themselves uh, when they haven't necessarily been doing that for a long time. And the affection too that the animals show them, I think, can be very important as well. It, it relates to to see um, the value in their in, in themselves and the things that they're capable. Really a beautiful experience to see clients interact with these animals. Now, Kayla, do we have any questions? Um, it doesn't look like we have any questions, but you guys can type in any questions into your control panel. Um, uh, thanks, Rich. That was great. Um, our next webinar is going to be on using the level system for addiction treatment. This is the topic that we uh, rescheduled to August. Uh, but we had on the books for June, I believe. But um, now it's going to be on August 13th at 9 a.m. And then, Rich, will you slide to the next one? And then on August 27th, we're going to be talking about creating aftercare plans for lasting recovery. Um, and then next, Rich. Please. And then there's our admissions phone number. It's 24-7. And our website, wasactpresstreatment.com. Look out for your uh, for registration links for August webinars in your emails. Um, thanks, Rich. That was great. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone, Have for joining. Bye.